All right, guys, welcome back to our quarantine striking series. Uh, so previously we worked on, uh, just worked on some general shadow boxing things, uh, but now uh, we're gonna learn how to incorporate defense into shadow boxing because 90% of people who shadow box only focus 100% on offense. So we're gonna learn how to incorporate some defenses in step by step, super duper basic things that you can work on every day, or you can go through all these things during your session. Uh, so I'm going to break it down in segments. So the first thing we're going to do is, as you are shadow boxing, the first defensive element that we're going to add is going to be our rear check. Now, most of the time, whenever I'm describing systems, uh, I'll either start from high and work down low, or start low and work up high. But for this one, we're going to go with uh, probability. So in Muay Thai, 85% of the time, people are always going to be throwing rear body kicks. So if you don't know any other defense, if you don't like to slip, if you don't like boxing uh, defenses or footwork or head movement, the one thing you should always be proficient at in Muay Thai is being able to check a kick. So, we're going to go through, as I'm working, as I'm going through these combos and I'm moving, let's say you do something super duper basic as a jab, cross, hook. I want you to add this rear block on here. So all you're going to do is lift your leg up. Have my knee touching my elbow, I'm not crunching my body down here. I'm just bringing this knee shield up here. And I'm utilizing this stiff arm because just in case an opponent is coming, I can still touch them. I'm still able to parry a punch, but then I'm also still able to feel distance to what I want to work on next after that. So, you got your rear block you can add on the end of any combo. Next thing we're going to work on is the lead block. Same thing. I'm bringing my lead leg up, bringing my elbow up to my knee. Got this nice bone wall here flex in my foot. When you check, you don't want to have your toes pointed down. Have your toes pointed down when you kick. Have your toes pointed down when you block, your shin's going to get broken. So, we're here. Lead block there. So, we work the midline. Now, we're going to go down low. After you finish your combo, let's say we're working a jab cross hook here. We're defending low kicks now. First thing we're going to do, we're going to bring our left leg up slightly. I'm checking the front kick this way. Now, Lead, uh, the low kick is coming off of your opponent's front side. We're going to work a cross check. All we're doing is bringing it over here. I'm not lifting up super duper high. When you're defending low kicks, you want to be nice and light on this foot. If I'm defending the low kick off on the front side, there's too much space for me to have to worry about to bring my rear leg up front. So, when you're checking low kicks, whether it's the rear or the front, just you, you're, just you, look. Uh, Use your front leg. Check here, cross check here. So we work midline, we work low line, now let's work high line. So, punches are coming. Parry the punch, angle off here. Punch or a high kick is coming, pull off here. So, as you're working through your combo, let's say we're going through something super duper basic. Jab, cross, hook. I'm going to parry an imaginary punch, angle off here, get my head off the line. Jab, cross, hook. I'm gonna pull my head backwards. Still nice and strong here. I'm pulling my head backwards. So, we work defenses at every single line. We work the midline with these blocks here. We work the low line, defending low kicks. A check here, a cross check here. We work the high line, protecting our face. We parry the punch, angle off. We pull it off with a punch, or pull it off with a high kick. So, these are just basic things that you can do to incorporate more defense into your shadow boxing. Don't get your ass kicked. <laughs>